That's <laughs> pretty good. Got it. Oh, <laughs> yes. So, of course, when we're... Oh, well, welcome back to the Steve Moore Show. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> I'm so having fun. When we're, you know, saying or speaking about yo-yo, what comes into your mind? Uh, Hip-hop. <laughs> Rap. I don't know. So, no. These things, of course. Yeah, Who doesn't we, know these things? This toy that we play when we're all kids. That's right. It's a, basically a simple toy. And That's like decades ago. Oh, yes. Uh, everyone's <laughs> childhood was different, came at a different era. But we all, I think, went through an experience yes. where we had fun with these things. Yes. Uh, if you grew up in the 80s like me or 90s like Caroline, uh, you must be familiar with yo-yos. But they have come a long way since then. Uh, as today's yo-yos are not even made of wood anymore. I don't know if you were aware. I they used remember. to be like these giant yes. wood things. Well, nowadays, they're made even out of plastic or even more professional kind of Exactly. Material. I remember those days when I was kids, they have like lights in it, by the way. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, you know, we're taking a look right now. Like you see, um, you know, our guest today is going to show you a lot of types of yo-yos. And it has a lot of different sound too compared to our wooden yo-yos back in the days. But interestingly, yo-yos are not just a toy anymore. As these days, they are yo-yos world championship. Oh, funny you should mention that because yeah. we have with us today <laughs> a professional yo-yo player. You saw him earlier kick on, kicking off our program. Yeah. His name is Jonathan Sitangang. He learned to play yo-yo ever since he was just seven years old. And by the year 2017, he already won the national yo-yo championships and went on wow. to become a finalist at the 2018 and 2019 Asia Pacific Yo-Yo Championship. Wow, that's a long CV. So he's also earned his place as one of Asia's top 10 yo-yo players. So please welcome Jonathan or Jojo as we calling him today. <laughs> we just decided to give him a nickname. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan. Oh, hey, Carol. It's such an honor to be here. It's great Thank to you have for having you here. Me. Thank it's, you for it's, being it's here. It's really us. cool for me to do. I oh. mean, like your CV though, by the way, mind blowing right there. Yes, Boom. Definitely at such a young age already. Yes. So let's talk a little bit about the yo yo itself. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So we have well, what we have here, Caroline and I. I guess these are the more conventional types of the OGs? yo yo. Like, yes, the OGs. Because the yo yos that you have in your hands right now are the traditional yo-yos okay. right. where it comes back at the tug of the hand. Okay, right. But in professional yo-yo, mm -hmm. in professional yo-yo in these days, when you throw the yo-yo, you cannot tug it back up. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. Different. So there's a method to bring the yo-yo back up to your hand. It's called the bind. And it goes like this. Oh, oh what? Because okay. a lot of yo-yo tricks uh, that utilize it, it utilizes uh, tugging your wrist a lot, and, right, right. and you don't want that to happen with the, with the normal yo-yo where it can hit your hand. Right. So oh, we have this trick. You want you it to be it kind of loose. You yeah. want it to, okay. So, it, wow. Look. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, What's I mean, happening here? John, <laughs> little Jojo, dream. Jonathan. <laughs> we're going to be embarrassed now next week. I mean, when we're playing with this, people know that, oh, they know our age. Definitely yeah. they know our age. I thought I was cool just doing you know, this earlier. Yeah, earlier he said, hey, I want to do tricks more than you, Caroline. Yes. So what were you doing? Like, show us that. your trick. Oh, it didn't even work. Time. That's it. That's all, all right. I, that's all I learned. I, I mean, at least I'm... I, we're, we're learning least, basics yes. here, guys. Everyone yes. starts somewhere. Everyone I know. starts somewhere. But it's like, all right. your tricks, though, my goodness. Like, where do you... You know, we were asking you, where do you get your inspiration? Do you look with other, you know, yo-yoists and that's how you get your tricks? But it turns out, no. Right? You yeah. do your own tricks. Uh, of course, when I first started out, I of course learned a lot of new tricks from uh, my friends, my community, and people I look up to online. Yeah. But as time progresses, I run out of tricks. Like Sometimes I feel like, wow, I'm pretty bored of That's learn it. That's learning, all the learning tricks, the tricks there, from right? YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. What about if I start learning, what if I start creating? Big so, tricks. Yes. Okay. So what if I start, start creating? And I look at tricks as a drawing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, yo-yo okay. is like a canvas to me, and right. I can play whatever I want. Mm -hmm. I can create whatever I want, whatever yeah. I deem is really good for me. Right, right. So, can you show us like your tricks? I mean, the something one you that, made. My yeah. original tricks. Yes. All right. Oh it's like it, my it's God. more complicated. It is complex. Than like the usual run-of-the-mill yo-yo trick you see. I mean, okay. how do you... Oh, my oh, God. Okay. All right, well, you, I mean, you are yeah. a champion. <laughs> oh! That's amazing. And it's amazing Whoa. how you did... All right, we got to give him a round of applause yes. for that. Yes! Hey, I, it's amazing how you didn't even hit your head throughout all that I, because like... I almost banged my face twice already during the break. So, um, 
how does this actually work in competition? Like, what are they judging on? Are they judging on the difficulties of the mm -hmm. tricks? Are there a certain number of tricks you're required to perform through per routine? How is this whole thing like based on? So, to put it to put it simply, yo-yo in yo-yo competition, the scoring the scoring criteria is based on two two very big. Uh, two very big categories. Okay. First is technical execution, and the, the second one is evaluation. For execution, mm -hmm. it's basically the technical parts of the yo-yo. Okay. So we count it with the clickers. Okay. okay. So for example, this is one click, and okay. then one click, Okay. two click, three click, uh, okay. four click. So you basically get a point for every time the yo-yo interacts with the string. In one throw, like in yes. basically in one, how many? How in, many? in three minutes usually. Wow. Or that's the golden standard for okay. yo-yo competitions, right? Right. And then there comes the evaluations where it's not only about the tricks, but how you create the atmosphere of your routine. Okay. Right. How you use your music to your liking or okay. to your tricks. Okay. And how, how much do you like control the yo-yo? How much do you have control the yo-yo? Right. And basically like how you interact with the audience too. So much I like, I guess much like figure skating, it's technical and creativity, right? Like yeah. it's they, they split into, is it 50-50? Yeah. Is that how it's based? Usually in, in contest, it's 60-40. 60, 60, 60 being the technical execution. I see. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And then four is the other, I mean, 40, 40 is the other evaluations, factors. yes. Oh that's my amazing. gosh. Okay. I mean, it's not, it's not easy, that's for sure. Yeah. So how many, times, how many times a week do you practice and how many hours per day do you practice on average? Or do you just, can you just practice all the time? Because you can be watching TV. This is like a TV, play, play You can be watching a movie. You, right? Yeah, this is like a play time <laughs> for me. Play time for you. And it honestly depends on my practice hours because mm -hmm. when I practice for a yo-yo contest, mm -hmm. especially for a national contest or mm -hmm. like the Asia contest. The Asia con for the Asia contest, I used to practice for like uh, every day for the past for the six every all the six months before the contest. Mm -hmm. wow. I practice every day for at least two hours. Wow, oh. yeah. it's like half a year. Like, yeah, it's like a full season. So during competition, do you go by the music first and then you do the tricks, or is the vice versa? Because like the one that you did before in the opening, it seems like all your tricks and routine goes with the flow with the music. You know, like with the beats and everything. The choreography, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So oh. how? Um, for my process, I usually find the music that I like okay. and I visualize in my head, oh, this part of the music goes well with this trick of mine. Okay. Uh, this part of the music will go well with that trick of mine. Right. Yeah. This is very seamless that we saw yes. today in the morning. Obviously, you're very, uh, not only are you very talented, you do have the hardware or the trophies to show yes. for it, but we want to test you. Challenge. Since you are such a, a national champion, yes. we want to see how good you are. By challenging you, we're gonna we have a video. Our production team put together a video, and we want you to copy some of the tricks that we've right. discovered for you. I don't know how difficult they're gonna be, but you should be up to up for this challenge. Right? Or you ready? How easy. Yes. I'm okay. Ready. So we're gonna we're gonna start one at a time. I think. Let's, right. uh, let's put them up on the screen. Here's the first one. Oh, P, you can do this. Okay. So this trick is called the trapeze. Okay. And of course, okay. I can do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Like that's, one like, ago. that's like asking <laughs> LeBron, can you dribble a basketball? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe we got a, a more difficult one. <laughs> Let's try Let's try our next one. That's a trapeze. It makes sense, right? He's like going right on the string. Okay, this one looks like it's going to go for a trapeze, but instead goes around the finger four times Ooh. and then oh. into the trapeze. Ah. And it bounces a couple times. Yeah. And then back out. Wow, okay. I, I okay. Love, lost me a little AB, bit there. I love how Jojo kind of switches yo-yo. I know. He's like, he's oh, like, I got one for that. I got, yeah. I got this. I got this. <laughs> got to have things to make it easy. What is this one so called? Do you this trick is called Black Hops. Okay. okay. And it goes like this. Okay, there you go. He did it better than that guy, I by the way. I'm pretty sure you're the one that made this. This is actually right? my friend. So oh, this oh, is one of your friends. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I've met him before, yeah. Are you, right. are you better than him? I've never been to a contest with him, so we don't know for sure. Oh, okay. But, but shout you... out to Harrison. He's okay. a good friend of mine. It's okay. Oh. If it's okay. He might be watching. The you can same say passion <laughs> right there. Do we let's have see. another one? Harrison, let's, let's put up another one. By He's pretty good too, by the way. Yeah. Decent. All right. Okay, so next this, trick or? this is Yeah, here's the next one. Oh, okay. Oh, is that Whoa, a shooting star? Oh, I like that one. So this trick is called Eli Hops. <laughs> oh! I wonder where they get these names. I know, it's pretty unique. Okay, how do you... All right. I'm pretty... I assume you can do this one. Of so course. show us how it's done. Whoa, he's doing a variation. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. And you Faster. Can, and you can do this as many times... 
as many times as, as you want, want until the yo-yo dies out. Okay, wow. Okay. And of course, just like any other trick, uh, based on creativity, you can have a lot of variations for this trick. So I can do it around my arm. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> there, take, Up and beyond. Take that production team. <laughs> so much for your challenge. <laughs> All right. All right, that's, you know, uh, yeah. But it's just, it seems that you're uh, Harrison. Harrison, is this the name? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's Harrison. Oh, we got one oh, more, we got one more. more. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, one more. I'm sorry. Our producer is like, no, no, we no, got no. something We got, we got something. Oh, all right. Ah, oh, this is a classic. This one is called Walk, Walk the Dog. Dog. Of course, who doesn't know? He can do it, too. No, I can't. Okay. What about you, Paul? Can you do it? Okay, let me, uh, let me try. Okay, so... Ah, I can't. I've, that's where I have problems, is when I actually go to walk the, the, and, yeah. the darn dog. Okay, can you show it how it's done first? Yeah. Okay, ah. so what's the key to this? How come every time mine touches the ground, it just kind of wobbles all out of place? So basically what you want to do is you want to have a straight throw and you don't want the yo-yo to tilt to any side. Okay. Because if the yo-yo tilts to one side, it'll spin, go out, it'll, okay. it'll spin right. out of control. So right. what you want to do is both halves of the yo-yo are touching the ground. Okay. Right. And both just, halves have to touch the ground. Yeah. Right, got it. Okay. You got it, P. Yeah. Hey. I didn't walk him. I kind of, he took like one step. That's yeah. good enough. Baby steps. It's a new Baby puppy. steps. It's okay, a new let puppy. me try one more. Uh, ah, yeah. see, I can see when it's starting to tilt, then I know it's going to go wobble. off. Yeah, you can give it a shot. No, I can't. <laughs> I've been trying. See? <laughs> like, how does it stay down? See, mine's already tilting. See, I know when it's still tight. Okay, mine is walking. So, uh, some tips, Jonathan. You did mention one of the tips is make sure your yo-yo is always wound tightly. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Why is that? So, in, so why do I want the yo-yo to? Why do you want the yo-yo to wind up tightly? Uh -huh. It's because if you wind up the yo-yo loosely, when you throw it, it'll go out of control because the the string is not in the correct place. Right. It's not wound up correctly. So right. once you throw it, it'll it'll just go slip out of control and you won't have control of the yo-yo. Okay. Resulting in a very weak spin too. Okay. All right. So, oh, Jonathan, take us through, because you have a lot of different yes. areas. You have the OG ones. Explain you have your this. own, right? Yes. You have your own line. Can you share that with us? And you have this one, where he's going to show you how to play the trick and whatnot. It's very different, too. Yes, okay. it's very different. So, yo-yos are divided into five divisions. So, 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, and 5A. Mm -hmm. So, 1A is the one you've seen me do okay. for the opening act. Okay. And 2A is the yo-yo you guys are holding right okay. now, but you played with two hands. Okay. I see. So, and 3A is same as a regular yo-yo, the one I, I showcased mm -hmm. early on in the show. Yeah. But you use two hands. You use both hands to play the yo-yo. So I'm going to give a quick demonstration. Yes, wow, please. Okay. I mean, take as long as you want. Oh, this is next level. Oh, my oh, God. He's ambidextrous, too. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> they can interact with each other. You're like a That's magician. Amazing. Oh, oh another round of applause. Oh, we're doing We're so excited. We're such fanboys. Okay. okay. And then there is 4A. There's this one. Okay. Yes. So if you notice that this yo-yo is absurdly bigger than the other. Yes. And this is because the yo-yo isn't connected to the string. I'll show you what I mean. Well, oh, look at that. Hey, it's free. Free fall. Oh. Oh, that's why it's a little bit bigger too. Oh. Right. Okay. Whoa. Would this be harder, you would say? Of course, it's very yes. high risk too. Right. Oh my god. Oh, it's such a high what? risk uh, style of play, too, because once you miss, you can see, like earlier, I dropped right. the yo yeah. on the ground. Yeah. yeah. So, are these, like, if you're in competition, again, like back to competition, mm -hmm. are there a specific category yeah. for that, like off, yes, the, yes. off the string yo yo? So, there's 1A division, 2A division, 3A division, 4A division, and 5A division. What's your specialist? Mm -hmm. My specialty is the most competitive one, is oh, the 1A. Okay. Is the is the one people play the most? Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I haven't I haven't got to the final one. The final one is oh, you have a... it's called five A. Okay, it's, it's, it's such a normal yo yo, but mm -hmm. at the end of the string there's a counterweight attached. Right. So it's like an extension of the yo yo itself. So let me show you what I mean. Oh. Wow. That look at the counterweight. It's oh. not his finger. Oh. Yeah. It's not, it's not attached to his finger. Oh, <laughs> it's actually in the middle. He's holding it in the Oh studio. my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait. Uh, we also want to ask because some of these actually you designed yourself, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, correct. Okay, which uh, tell so us a little bit about what your what you designed and what I had work. the honor to have my own signature yo yo. Okay. So I am a brand ambassador of my yo yo my, my yo yo okay. team, Team Duncan. All right. Okay. And I had the honor of getting a signature yo-yo from them. It's called the GTRJS. Which you had at hand yes. in design. I have in hand right now. Uh, the colors are of my liking and okay. the design is of what I want, what 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 
what ideal yo-yo that I want. Mm -hmm. okay. And uh, by by the teamwork of me and Duncan, we made it a reality. It's, yeah. it's, it's a pipe dream since I was like, when I first started out, I always wanted a signature yo-yo and yeah. finally in 2021, it finally happened. So so it's according to like the weight and the right. size, yeah. everything is according to the way you yes. do it. It's, it's, it's according to the way I want it. Okay. Yeah. It's my signature, right? Right. Okay. And when people would think yo-yo is just like this, right? Yeah. What would be different than your signature yo-yo then? So. It, it all it all comes different. Every yo-yo is different, starting from the weight distribution, the okay, machining, yes. the shape. So this is a different yo-yo from Duncan Sue, right? Mm -hmm. And it has a different shape if you look oh, very, very I closely. See. Yes. It has different shapes, uh, yes. different dimensions, and I a different see. width and different diameter. Yeah. Okay. And even though despite it being having a very small difference, but it actually affects the play by a lot. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, whether it's light or heavy, because mm -hmm. if, if the yo-yo is heavy, it spins longer, and if the and if the yo-yo is lighter, then it, you can maneuver it faster. Right. I see. Yeah. So it, what about yours, though? I want to know what's like your yo-yo, like that. My yo-yo, for my yo-yo, I aim it to be like an all-rounder, okay. but as in an all-rounder, I want it to be very, very good in all aspects. So I can, so it can spin very long, mm -hmm. and it can handle very fast tricks easily. Okay. And basically, it handles anything I want because I love heavy hitting tricks. I okay. I like long combos like one minute uh one minute wow. of full throwing okay yeah uh, so uh i, I kind of equate it to a surfboard like if you're a beginner this one's definitely not for beginners like a yeah. beginner would use a bigger long surfboard board. you can yeah. you can't do much tricks right, right but then as you become more of an expert you get you're these right. more expert yo-yos but then it's very difficult to use unless yeah. you already know what you're doing so there's yeah. a progression so i think these are the perfect yo-yos for us uh, yeah. <laughs> And forever. Right. <laughs> Everyone starts somewhere. So if you want, if you just want to try it, then just go ahead. No, I don't want to yeah. ruin your yo-yos. I'll probably <laughs> smash it on the ground. So listen, um, up next year, 2023 uh, World Championships in Tokyo. You yes. mentioned that you will be representing our country. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. What have you got prepared and what have you got planned? What do you anticipate? So this year, it was announced that the 2023 World Euro Championships will be happening in Tokyo, Japan. Right. And it's gonna be my first time being on the world stage. Oh, wow. And I, I do plan on competing. Congratulations. And thank you. And I definitely have a lot of things prepared, such as my own trick set, as my own music of choice, and my own choreography I have in mind for the performance I'm gonna give out to everyone. Nice. And of course, my goal is to definitely of course, who doesn't want to win? Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Win yeah. gold? But Do they give out medals? Is it medals? Is it yeah, gold? It's, yes, it's, gold. It, it could yes, be medals. It, it could gold. be medals. It could be it could be a trophy. Right. right. But yeah, I all in all, I hope that I can create a satisfying routine for me and for everyone else to enjoy. Awesome. Yeah, Are you nervous? For you. Oh, of course. <laughs> don't worry. I think you're going to do great. Having yeah. your like yeah. your talent? I don't know. I mean, I you're going to ace it for sure. I'd be sleeping on the plane on the way there. <laughs> Easy cruise to victory. Either way, I'm sure you're going to make us proud. Yes, Thank you awesome. so much, uh, Jonathan, a.k.a. Jojo, for dropping by. <laughs> it's his new nickname. I think he's going to stick. I think it's a great nickname. Jojo Yo-Yo. Yeah, Jojo's Yo-Yo. Jojo's Yo-Yo. That could be yeah. the name of your new yeah. line. Anyway. <laughs> So uh, we, we've said enough because we want to see a little bit more uh, yes. performance from Jonathan. Yes. So thank you again for dropping by, Jonathan. We will now allow you to take the floor. Ooh, thank he's you. taking that one. I wonder what yes. you can do. It's, it's my favorite color. All oh. right. In the meantime, here's Jonathan Sitanga with more for you. Check this out. Whoa. Whoa. Never mind. I'll let Jonathan do that. <laughs> thank right, you for so having have me. Have fun. Enjoy.